told you earlier that the APC National Working Committee says it's not aware of the conclusion made by the National Assembly leadership on the nomination of its principal officers. I'm joined now by Senator Mohamed Mongunu, who is the senator representing Bonu North. Thank you for joining us on the news this hour. You uh, have been in the National Assembly for some 16 years now, if I'm not mistaken, so you should understand the tradition your party's national chairman is talking about as regards the fact that um, the party's position is communicated to the Senate leadership via a written letter. Well, uh, whatever it is, normally we are in a democracy. And the outcome of what transpired today is as a result of the various consultations among the members of the APC in the Senate. And on their own volition, they decided to agree on the list of principal officers position that was announced by the Senate President. As you can observe, when the list was announced, there was no a single voice of dissent. There was unanimity among all the senators of the majority party as to the announcement made by the Senate President. So as you can see, we are in a democracy, and what transpired is the consensus at Edom of the membership of the majority party in the Senate. Whether it was communicated to the Senate president by the party or not, but what transpired is a consensus at Edom of the majority membership of the APC. That's why, that is why there is no single voice of dissent. There is unanimity of support for that list. That is a consensus amongst the senators. My question really is, given your experience at the National Assembly, is there a known tradition that the political party communicates this list to the leadership of the Senate in this um, regard? Well, uh, based on my experience in the National Assembly that you mentioned for over 16 years, the tradition is that the party communicates the list of principal officers to the Senate president for his announcement. But in this case, as I told you earlier on, whether it was communicated to the Senate president by the party or the senators of the majority party on their own volition, so motu, decided to agree on this list and the Senate president, sequel to that consensus, announced their, the, the, the names of the principal officers does not make any difference because it is still the same thing that the party is going to communicate to the Senate president for his announcement, since there is no uh, single voice of dissent, there is unanimity amongst the majority membership uh, of, 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 the, of the Senate. All right, so it, seems, it so sounds there's like no you're, saying, whatsoever. you're saying the same list that was read on the floor of the Senate was the same list that the National Working Committee would have forwarded um, to the leadership of the Senate in we, the first place. Would have, would have, would have, yes, the same list that was read on the floor of the Senate by the Senate President will be the same list that will be communicated to the Senate President for his announcement. There is no, there is no difference. Maybe though the only difference is that uh, the party did not formally communicate to the Senate President for his announcement. And there is no law that states that the party must communicate to the Senate President for his announcement. 
Maybe it's, it's, it's a convention, it's a tradition. It's a tradition and it's a convention. So, and as I said earlier on, whether it is communicated by the party or the Senate president and the APC membership of the Senate on their own uh, disagreed, and then the Senate president announced uh, those names, it doesn't make any difference because it is still the same list that will be read by the Senate uh, president. Senator Mohamed Bongodo is a senator representing Bono North. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7. Thank you very much.